And now you can join in the worldwide Star Trek 25th anniversary celebration with the original uncut Star Trek episodes on video cassette. Yours for just $4.95 for your introductory two episodes. Here's the series that set the standard by which all science fiction is measured. We'll also beam you this special Star Trek 25th anniversary commemorative pin free. It's destined to become a collector's item. To get yours before they disappear, simply call this toll-free number now. Captain, I never will understand humans. What's going on, everybody? Justin here, and I am very excited to be diving into a little bit of television history, a little bit of physical media history, and talk about the complete series of Star Trek on this full set of VHS tapes released via CBS, Paramount, and Columbia House. This set being one of the first, if not the first, complete television series released to home video. Star Trek The Collector's Edition was a VHS collection released by Columbia House on a subscription basis from 1986 to 1981. The collection featured all 79 episodes of the Star Trek original series, as well as the pilot episode, The Cage. Episodes were typically collected two per tape, however, they were not released in production or air date order. Instead, Columbia House collected episodes in star date order. Volumes were also sent to subscribers in a non-linear sequence. New subscribers received volume 9 as their first tape. Later series releases would not follow these patterns. Tapes were sent to subscribers every four to six weeks and each volume was returnable within 10 days. A Betamax version was also released. Star Trek only ran three seasons starting September 8th, 1966 to June 3rd, 1969. It was only three years, a 79 total episodes. A few episodes were released for rental in 1980, but it wasn't until the rollout of the Laserdisc and VHS tapes of the movie that they started trickling out episodes on VHS and Laserdisc, but that wasn't until 1982. Uh, so this collection of tape, this exact set, was in my house growing up. My dad purchased them via that subscription service. Columbia House was a physical media, music, and movie distribution company back in the day. A lot of people might remember, at least people my age, might remember BMG and Columbia House being the, the company where you could get 12 CDs for a penny or 15 CDs for a dollar, as long as you agreed to buy a certain amount at regular prices. Uh, these cards, these collector's things were often found in magazines, remember those? In uh, physical print magazines, you'd fill out the information, you'd put your credit card information right on this card, and you'd send it through the mail. Or in case of collections like these, sometimes you'd call a 1-800 number, a 1-900 number, and you would be locked in to commit to this subscription service. Now, although there's only two episodes per tape, I imagine they could have fit a couple more, but to keep the quality and audio good. It's kind of uh, fortunate that they only put two episodes per tape, but it's just really fascinating to see the vast amount, like the sheer physical amount of physical media that it took to put a series on home release compared to now. Here's Beavis and Butthead, um, all, the, most of the episodes, all on this tiny little set right here. So it's just a really cool glimpse into what the history of physical media used to be. Now these are really nice releases. These are hard shell, clamshell cases that open up. These are nearly 40 years old at this point, so some pieces, like the clasps um, of the tapes are falling off, uh, but my dad took really good care of these tapes. These tapes were hanging around when I was a kid. I remember watching these as a kid in the early, early 90s, popping on these episodes and watching Trouble with Tribbles and all these weird episodes. Um, it's a really, really fun show. It's crazy that it, it made such a history and became such a massive franchise and a moneymaker, and it only lasted three seasons, only 79 episodes. But I love the artwork. It's so 80s, it's so vintage. Um, the colors used, the grayscale um, that were ultimate, that were like super modern at the time, but have this really cool vintage retro aesthetic now. The clamshell cases securely holding each episode. And as, um, as the uh, blurb read earlier, each episode was released by star date, not issue and air date, uh, which I thought was a really super cool detail, a super nerdy detail that I really like. So I think this set is just incredible. You can find these all day on eBay. It's not even a high, like a super expensive item. I found a whole set um, on here for less than a hundred bucks. I think it was 50 or 60 bucks. I didn't look at what the shipping was. I'm sure they're going to get you on shipping. Uh, but if you are ever to find these in the wild or something like that, they're really not going to cost that much. Uh, this, the complete series is really, really cool to have. Um, I'm sure I'll end up watching some of these on VHS, um, on my VHS player, but 
It's just a cool showpiece. They just look so cool. One thing I do love, I recently picked up all of the 4K uh, movies um, and they, uh, the artwork kept the same aesthetic as this old retro kind of artwork paint style, which I, I really, really like. So um, I am not like Star Trek isn't my favorite thing of all time, but I love it, um, especially the movies. But the show is just it's watching uh, television shows from that era is it's just it's just fascinating. I love watching those old 60s and 70s TV shows. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Columbia House Star Trek Complete Series Collector's Edition. Um, I'm so glad I was able to grab these from my pops. I remember these sitting in those big kind of faux wood grain uh, VHS drawers that people used to have back in the day and seeing all these lined up. Um, it just really takes me back to childhood and um, my dad really loved these and he was excited about them. Um, really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Subscribe for more guys and I think we're done here. Stay weird. Remember to always be yourself and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.